It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Miami Dolphins, and it's all up next. Well, much of the country is struggling under cold temps and some of that white stuff. No such troubles here at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Miami Dolphins. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. At CD, the Dolphins, they've got some high hopes for 2023. They feel like they've got the pieces to make a run. They need a little bit of health, but they think they can be right there in the AFC East. And they'll want every game to be a track meet because speed is their calling card. If they're able to sprint out there ahead of people and make them chase, they'll be tough to reel in. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, the wait goes on for a Super Bowl appearance. This will be the 28th season since they last won Super Bowl 30 in 1996. Let's add on to that. They haven't even been to an NFC Championship game since 1996. And you know, that does not sit well in the owner's box for the Dallas Cowboys, continuing to try to find their way back to the top of the mountain. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Miami. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Now a man who's taken the reins with the Cowboys, it's Tony Pollard. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. To throw is Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also have those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. And here comes Berrios. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a seven-yard return. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungavailoa, their quarterback from Alabama, at the helm. Every time he leads his team out, there's no questioning. He's put the work in to earn his place in the NFL. There's no shortage of stories we've heard throughout his career about the effort he puts in to be in this spot. And that motivates everybody on his team. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 27. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Here's second and 10. Here's Tungavailoa to throw. 
They'll swing this out wide. Here's HM. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. I spy a couple of extra defensive backs on the field for Dallas. Cowboys in the dime on third. Two are going to throw. They set up the screen. HN has it. Breaks through the contact. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. And again, it's Tug of Iloa. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. Going to the air, Tug of Iloa. And his throw is incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Tua sets up to pass it. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. Now Waddle on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. The all-pro Micah Parsons there on the tackle. Looking to pass, Tua. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's gonna lead to third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. They'll drop to throw. This one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. It's opening drive, and they're now two for two on third down conversions. And let's face it, anytime we talk to any coaching staff, heck, players, they always talk about winning third down, how important that is, the deciding factor in winning a football game, and they're off to a really nice start. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. He'll dump this off to HN. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Tua setting up shop to throw again. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described... That's team football, all right? When you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us to rock. 
Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. the touchdown ready to kick it away is Sanders Cavante Turpin now from his end zone and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys and they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out and sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit I jumpy. You do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. <laughs> just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. And out across midfield, down to the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 45-yard line. Prescott from the gun. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. On play action, Prescott. And it's caught. Brandon Cooks, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some free play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Aubrey good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. So Miami coming out for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. 
Tug of Iloa to throw on second down here. A quick slant to Hill. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now it's third and three. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. They can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. Off of play action. Tug of by low. Blitz coming, and down he goes. They overload him that time on the safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass, and when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Now Tua. And this is going to be incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down per minute and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. Deep to return is Kevontae Turpin. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He gets it to Cooks. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there, finding him in stride for really good yardage. Prescott on first down. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. On second down, Prescott again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And it takes us from second to third down. Play action now, Prescott. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. On 
fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 15. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. 23 yards on the play. near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Up the middle they go with Moster. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run and it's second and four. Throwing now is Chug of Iloa. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Under a minute to go. Clock running at a back and forth first quarter of play. On first down, Chug of Iloa. Throw caught by Ochan. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Taken down at the 30. And seven, our score after one. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. The second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? On play action, here's Tua. A quick throw there is incomplete. He was looking for Jalen Waddle there, and it's third down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 20-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I will hear about that from him soon. Two and now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And the Dolphins are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the run. Well, normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. 
And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. Power on power, but he's not going to get in. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They'll run with Mostert. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Raheem Mostert punching it in from a yard away. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field. But when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield. And he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop it behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Another example right there of how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. Third and seven now. Scott. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So after three drives and three touchdowns combined between these two clubs, finally we get a defensive stop. Yes, and welcome to the party, defensive players. And glad to have you because for a while there, it almost felt like it was 11 going downfield on air. Okay, so to be able to have someone come up, make a stop, now we've got a football game going. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. Speedster Raheem Mostert and the rest of this offense out to start the drive. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to have time to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series for so those surface tablets come into play. <laughs> Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. But the first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield looking for another one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
A handoff running left is Mostert, and he can muster only a couple here to the 24. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Marquise Bell able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. One of the best in the NFL in no small part because of his running ability. But on that play, didn't matter to the defense at all. Nice stop for them, a feather in their cap for getting the sack and brought down one of the toughest guys to catch in the NFL. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. He'll take it at the 42. 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Off the play fake, Prescott. He's got his man, it's Gallup. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. He's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. From the 29, here's second down and seven. Here's Prescott. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. On third down, it's Prescott. Incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. There'll be a 47 yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick here is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14 10. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. 
Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. I call it no gain there on the first down play. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. This offense so far on third down, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Jake Bailey now. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They're going to look to throw. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Here's Pollard again. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Prescott to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Pollard trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. 
It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second and goal from the one. Pollard again. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one yard line and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And it's now 17-14. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And that'll bring up second down. Two are going to throw. That's going to be caught by Waddle. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Tua sets up to pass it. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion. And that should get him off the field with a three and out. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. Fair catch, single four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. So first and 10 now from the 30. Looking to throw, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 43. Throwing, Prescott. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaking up. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Here's second and five now from the 37. 
Prescott now. It's caught. Tolbert. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. And again, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Now Prescott on fourth down. Oh, he rifles one and that's going to be intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Well, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. Then the Dolphins getting set to go here. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A gain of 32 that time. Well, he looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. He delivers a big play here for this offense. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. Touchdown, Dolphins! second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game and I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Sanders on for the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. And especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. To throw is Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. 
A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And the Dolphins with one final possession here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Throwing now is Chugavailoa. Got a man, it's Barrios complete. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. So the two teams will head to the locker rooms here in Miami with the Dolphins on top as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Dolphins got some strong play out of their quarterback number one, Tua Tungavailoa. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Third quarter starts with a run from Mostert. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Second and six, just inside the 30. On play action, here's Tua. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A gain there of 21 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run, and that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. 
It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Now Tua. Out route to Hill complete. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A gain there of 21 yards. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, so far, this game has gone the way the defensive coordinator had hoped. They've dictated things. They've not let them run the ball very well at all. They gave up a nice game there. I doubt it'll back off their confidence. They've played so well throughout this entire game. From the gun, it's Tua. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here's Tua. tuck and run and it'll get him a new set of downs. Oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. Now they send a man in motion right. Mostert. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Well, it's apparent the defense understands the situation. They have to keep them out of the end zone here. That's a great start by them. A loss on that play. Can they force them into a field goal attempt and still give their offense an opportunity? Again, it's Mostert. But he will go backwards as he stopped for a loss. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Not only was that a terrific play, but that loss of yardage they created this close to their own goal line, that gives them a little breathing room now as they move them back. And they're breathing fire a little bit right now, aren't they? A lot of confidence being shown by them at this point of the game. Throw to the right, taken in by Berrios. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. A gain of five, but not enough, leads to a fourth and goal. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them. And he is in! Touchdown, Miami! Raheem Mostert, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive down the field to extend their lead. So fourth and goal, their head coach gave that offensive line one more chance to punch it in, and this time they were successful. They certainly paid off the coach's confidence, didn't they? And how about the fact that they stayed with the ground game? Because a lot of times in that situation, partner, we see teams try and roll the quarterback out, give a little run-pass option, and treat it like a two-point conversion play. In this case, they went with a little bit more power and got it done. After the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. 
They make their second half debut here. Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. Prescott, he'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Here's Prescott. That's the schoolmaker, the tight end. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A give to Pollard, running left. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. From the 35, here's a second down and nine. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That was a good run, and it should get the attention of the defense, but they can't just dwell on it. They've been playing so well this entire game. Maybe they just look at it and say, okay, congratulations, you got one on us, and just not let it turn into more. Prescott on third and two. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they get five there on third and two. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Pollard will take it up the gun. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You can go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and six. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 53 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Now a give here to Pollard. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Scott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. Prescott looks to throw on first. Open man right side, it's Lamb. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 
A good pick up there, 21 yards. Now I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Pollard. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys are back within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and get some right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play, Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They'll start on the ground with Moster, and he is going to lose yardage here. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind he hits like a linebacker, and we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Tua sets up to pass it. Well, oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. You still hold your breath a little when Tua gets out of the pocket, but there he made the wise call. If there's nothing downfield, just throw it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. That's pulled in at the 32. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give them five on the return. And they will take over first and 10. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. On first and 10, Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Michael Gallup, a six-yard pickup, brings up second and four at the 43-yard line. This second and four. Now Prescott, a short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Defense. 
So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down, they've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. They need just a yard here, it's third and one. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. 70 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Prescott on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. Second and ten. They'll run left with Pollard. A little joke. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Partner, how he managed to get positive yardage out of that run, I have no idea. But a little juking, a little moving. Got it done. Got him two yards. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Throwing. Prescott. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Here's Brian Anger now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Now we get Tyreek Hill and the rest of the Miami offense back out there. Let's see here, Charles. Six catches, over 100 yards. Call that a pretty good day at the office. And I love the accumulation. The catches, the yardage. That means he's having a pretty good impact on this ball game and really helping his team out in a big way. Means he wants the football again, right? And it's funny because some of these receivers are very vocal about how much they're getting it. Others are quieter, but they still let you know, give me the ball, I'm going to make a play. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Give him a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Yeah. 
We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. On second down, it's Pollard. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 87 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Running right, it's Pollard. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line not a run that you're going to write home about, but still, a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. Prescott. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. A first down throw for Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Ferguson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 18 yards there and it'll be a first and goal. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Prescott from the gun. And that is caught. But he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. Okay, so the penalty on the outside for illegal touching, and they'll have to come back and try it again. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. And again, it's Prescott. Flushed out right, and he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys have taken a fourth quarter lead. Let's go back over Dak Prescott's career. Six rushing touchdowns in each of his first three years, but only one in each of the last two seasons. As a veteran, he's become much more judicious about when it's time to take the ball and go for the end zone. All right, so the Cowboys will go for two here. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie as they've upped their lead to three. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Berrios now from his end zone. 
And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Dolphins offense returning to the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. Here's Tug of Iloa to throw. That one complete to Hill. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. That is caught and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A little surprise pays off on third and one. Pass instead of run. Gets him 15 yards. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Running the counter with Mostert. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties, and when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, that's exactly what you're looking for. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Two are going to throw. Yeah, this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances. But I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Play action. Now it's Tua. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up first and goal at the five. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Following the interception, here's Prescott toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. It'll be a handoff to Pollard, and he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. 
punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth quarter touchdown and a two score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here. And they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. Aubrey good with a PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Looking to pass to him. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because to me, all he's concerned about is he analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Now throw right side here, gonna be incomplete. We just saw another example of really good defensive football, which has led to the cushion that they have in this game. Got to him once again, knocked him on the ground, forced an incompletion. And they've set the tone. It's one thing to set the tone, another to come in here on the road and set the tone. Here's Tua. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own 33. And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration that's settling in now. And it's probably been there for a long time. But now it's evident because you can see it in their faces. You can see it in their body language. Maybe even a little bit in that play call that ended up maybe closing them out. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here to have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Here's Pollard again. 
And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So Tua and the Dolphins down by 10, a minute 51 on the clock. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery, but first things first, first and 10. Now Tua. And he'll complete this one to Barrios. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Second down, eight yards to go. Here's Tua. His throw incomplete. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it, but time's definitely running out. A big play looming on third down. Tua. And now another one thrown incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Throwing to a... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Malik Hooker, racing to the end zone. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands. We want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. Aubrey now for the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play. 
to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Now second and three. Tua sets up to pass it. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A gain of nine yards. That's good for us Dolphins. First down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught. Touchdown. Jalen Waddle, 63 yards. And the Dolphins have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. You got to understand situational football because they're playing. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. And I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. And this one incomplete. So the clock stopped now with 20 seconds remaining. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Now Tua, and that is caught. Touchdown Miami. Braxton Berrios from a yard out, and the Dolphins are able to cut into that deficit. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Charles, a lot of happy faces.